Alright, so we all know just how annoying the bounty system can be in GTA Online. 9 times out of 10 you're given a bounty for stealing a vehicle, and there's always the very occasional time where a player will set a bounty on you. Whilst there's nothing wrong with a player setting a bounty when the AI sets bounties, they often do it out of the blue when it makes no sense whatsoever. But anyways, my name is Useless Mango and these are my top 5 do's and don'ts for surviving a bounty in GTA Online. So as always, if you do go on to enjoy the video or you find it interesting or helpful at all, then do be sure to drop the video a like rating, and if you are new to my channel and you like my GTA 5 content, then why not hit that subscribe button? Button. It only takes two seconds and it means that you won't miss any of my future uploads. Now with that said, let's get it started. Okay, so these do's and don'ts are my best tips on how to survive the full duration of a bounty and still be better off financially afterwards. What I'm going to be discussing with you guys today does not involve any glitches such as wall breaches, so if you found this video looking for those, then I must say right now that you're in the wrong place. But with that out of the way, let's start off with the things that you should do when you receive a bounty, and my first tip is rather simple and straightforward, and it's make sure that you're fully equipped with weapons, armour and ammo. And straight away where you might be thinking that this is not going to benefit you financially as you may end up spending more than the bounty is worth. But guns and ammo are assets that come in handy on a regular basis outside of trying to survive a bounty and would be a recommendation regardless if you have a bounty or not. My second tip is get an armoured vehicle and stay out of plain sight. So by armoured vehicle I mean something that can withstand more than one explosion without being destroyed and that is relatively fast, i.e. an insurgent. However, if you don't have an insurgent or any other armoured vehicle, then try to get something fast, agile and you know you can actually drive, and then stay out of plain sight. And by that I mean go to an area of the map that you know and where there's no other players. Being far away from players will allow you to not get targeted as soon as you get somewhere, but also will make it easier for you to pinpoint players that might want to come and get your bounty. If there's no way you can go to be safe away from players, then the rooftops of tall buildings are really good for fending off against players that might want to get your bounty, however I'd only use this option as a last resort and we'll go over the reason later in this video. But I'll give you a hint about it now, it has something to do with aircraft. My next tip is use cheap services such as Lester's off the radar to give you an edge. What you want to try and do is make sure that you're not spending more than the bounty is worth when trying to defend yourself, otherwise you'd just be better off letting a player take it. But cheap Lester services can help you get away or get an edge on people who might come after you, however due to the cooldown period that Lester's services have, I'd only use things like off the radar and remove wanted level if you really must or if someone else uses it and you suspect that they're coming after you. So for example, if a player goes off the radar then you'd do good in doing the same and getting as far away as possible from your last known location while still keeping out of plain sight and away from other players. Tip number 4 is play contact missions that don't involve player versus player combat. So ignore things like adversary modes, death matches and GTA races etc and instead do normal contact missions as these will run down the time you have a bounty while not allowing you to be killed by another player. In fact, this is a win-win because not only do you not run the risk of being killed by another player, but you're also earning money on the side making you much better off when your bounty does expire. And tip number 5 is more of a last resort and it's share the bounty with a friend. So if you've been hunted down by multiple players and you're only just managing to fend them off, if you have a friend with you it might be best seeing if you can share the bounty with them just to avoid other players getting it. And I don't think I need to walk you through how to do this, just make sure that your friend gets the bounty before any other players do. But anyways, now onto the things that you shouldn't do when trying to survive a bounty and my first tip is do not get in any jet or any other aircraft. And I know this sounds rather counterintuitive since you'd think that you'd be safer in a military jet that's got guns with explosive rounds and lock-on missiles, but all it takes is one homing missile to disarm your jet or at least render it useless. Now if you get blown up straight away, then it's tough. Your bounty will have already gone to the player who killed you, but if your aircraft managed to survive the impact or you bailed out before, then you're now at even greater risk because you could easily get shot by a sniper on the ground whilst on a parachute, or if you manage to survive the descent, then you might now be somewhere where players could easily come get you, for example on a street in the middle of Los Santos. As for using other air vehicles, helicopters are slower and difficult to manoeuvre should you need to avoid a homing missile, and commercial planes take longer to bail out of than helicopters and jets, putting you at further risk of missile impact, and frankly, they're slower and not made for bounty hunter evasion. And that's actually a pretty good way to lead into tip number two, which is don't use Pegasus vehicles as a way to defend yourself. So for this I mean things such as the Hydra from tip number one, but also things like the Insurgent Pickup, the Benefactor Turreted Limo, and of course, the Rhino Tank. If people know that you're in a vehicle like these, then you'll be seen more of as a target, regardless if you have a bounty or not. And contrary to popular opinion, when surviving a bounty, you stand a better chance of surviving if you keep a 
away from players than what you do if you stand and face them. You should only really fight another player to defend yourself if you really must. Tip number three is don't get a wanted level. If you have a wanted level and you have people chasing you for your bounty, then you have a lot more bullets being fired at you than is safe. And since the cops in GTA 5 are pretty much Terminators, all it would take is for one lucky shot from a player to finish you off. Or if the cops kill you, then you'll respawn in a random position on foot and therefore be vulnerable to any players that might be around. Tip number four is don't spend more than you make. And by this, I mean don't use services such as mercenaries or any other Meriwether services for that matter and don't destroy personal vehicles. More often than not, the service you'll want to use or the car you're being chased by will be worth more than your bounty and therefore just isn't worth spending money on. Especially since most players will either come after you in a high-end supercar or heavily armoured vehicle, which won't be cheap on insurance. Only destroy a personal vehicle if there's an active free mode event going on that involves destroying things, as then you won't be charged for the cost of the other player's car. That said, if they seem to be in a stolen car, then go ahead, as you won't then be charged for the cost of their vehicle. And last but certainly not least, don't get cocky. Alright, so I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments. What do you think of my bounty surviving tips? Do you have any other tips for effectively surviving a bounty? Or do you have any tips on how to not get a bounty in the first place? As always, be sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comments section down below. Okay, so they were my top 5 do's and don'ts for effectively surviving a bounty in GTA Online. As always, if you did go on to enjoy the video or you found it interesting or helpful at all, then do be sure to drop the video a like rating. And if you are new around here and you like my GTA 5 content, then why not hit that subscribe button? It only takes two seconds and it means that you won't miss any of my future uploads. Now with that said, stay awesome and thanks for watching.